Okay, das klingt äh, ziemlich scheiße. Achso, das Spiel spielt vor dem ersten und dem zweiten Teil. Das spielt nämlich 1954, meine ich. Während die anderen um die in den 90ern eher spielen. Wow, das war knapp. Das war ziemlich knapp. Okay. Der Typ hat immer noch weiße Haare. Wie sieht der denn aus? Oh ne. Das ist jetzt doch nicht euer Ernst, dass ich so einen Typen spielen muss. Wieso spiele ich jetzt Jack? Das ist doch... Ein oh, na toll. Cool, die haben so ein geiles Deckungssystem. Und dann kann man... Okay. Jetzt haben wir hier... auf. Ach, hier haben wir unser Messer. Damit können wir nichts machen. Damit können wir uns auf den Boden legen. Okay. Ich würde sagen, ich höre mir hier mal auf. Nein. Stopp. Ei. Do you copy? You're already in enemy territory and somebody might be listening in. From here on out, we'll be using code names to refer to each other. Your code name for this mission will be Naked Snake. I'll be referring to you as Snake from now on. You're not to mention your real name. Snake? What, you don't like snakes? What do you mean? You've eaten one before, haven't you? In survival training. <laughs> I'm glad to hear that. I don't know if I'd ever order one in a restaurant, but... Be careful, you might not have a choice. What about you, Major? What should I call you? Hmm, let's see. I'll be... I'll be Tom. Call me Major Tom. This will be a sneaking mission. You must not be seen by the enemy. You must leave no trace of your presence. Is that clear? This kind of infiltration is the Fox Unit's speciality. In other words, weapons and equipment are procure on site. That goes for food as well. You're completely naked, just as your name implies. Great. Now I see why you asked me if I like snakes. I suppose calling me Snake was your idea of a joke, too. No. There's a good reason for that. I'll tell you later when the time is right. Gotcha. Getting back to the subject, how exactly am I supposed to feed myself? You've been issued a knife and a tranquilizer gun. Use them to hunt for food. You'll also find some medical supplies in your backpack. Yeah, about the backpack. I lost it in a tree on the way down. Next time? I see. Well... You'd better go back and get it then. You know where it is? No problem. I can see it from here. It's stuck on a branch. To climb a tree, stand in front of a tree that's covered in ivy and press the action button. I'll be monitoring your progress over the radio. We can't risk violating Soviet airspace, but I'll be in the gunship. My frequency is 140.85. I'll give you a call if I need to talk to you. If you need to talk to me, use the send function. Okay, Snake, go get your backpack. Ja, mache ich dann. So, wir sind wieder da und diesmal habe ich eine, finde ich, nettere Figur ausgesucht. Ich 
Warum haben die überhaupt das gemacht? Das ist doch scheiße. Gut. Jetzt muss ich noch irgendwie synchronisieren. Revival. No. Revival. No. Revival. No. Okay. Super. Dann muss ich das Ganze noch zusammenstellen. Äh, ja. Metal Gear Solid. Wow. Drei. Okay. Hier können wir nicht durch. Hier auch nicht. Boah, das sieht schon geil aus, ne? Oh, hier geht's auch nicht weiter. Super, wo soll's denn weitergehen? Ne, hier geht's auch nicht. Hier sind wir in der... Ah! Nö. Muss ich vielleicht hier durch... Runter. Ja. That's the idea. Hier gibt es nichts. Aha. Ich muss zweimal drücken. Und der Action Button wie bestellt. Perfekt. I see you've retrieved your backpack, Snake. To equip a weapon, it's necessary to take it out of your backpack. In the survival viewer, choose weapon from the backpack. Your available weapons will be displayed in a window in the upper left. From that list, choose the weapon you want to equip and press the enter button. For other equipped items, just do the same thing from item. Got it. Use the survival viewer backpack. Yep, that's right. Survival is fundamental to this mission. After you've been out in the field for a while, your stamina will start to drop. If your stamina gets too low, it'll affect your performance. You won't be able to shoot accurately, for example, and your wounds won't heal as smoothly. Keep an eye on your stamina so you don't run out. To recover lost stamina, you can hunt for local flora and fauna. You can use either your tranquilizer gun or your knife to hunt. My only weapon is a Mark 22 Hush Puppy tranquilizer gun? That's right. It's been fitted with its own suppressor. However, the suppressor will deteriorate every time you fire. Once its durability reaches zero, the noise suppression effect will be gone. So don't get too trigger happy with it. The suppressor's durability is shown in the icon. Any weapons and equipment beyond what you're carrying now, you'll have to find as you go. I have to find my own weapons and equipment? Whose crazy idea was this anyway? Solo covert actions are standard Fox operating procedure. You can't leave any traces of your presence. No weapons, equipment, footprints, sweat, or bodily wastes. The same goes for bullets and cartridges, too. Your presence in enemy territory is already a violation of international conventions of warfare. There aren't supposed to be any American soldiers in Russia. It could spark an international incident. You can't let anyone see you. You can't let the enemy know you're there. This is a stealth mission. You're a ghost snake in every sense of the word. And there'll be no rescue if you're captured. The military and US government will deny any involvement in the affair. Then I'll just have to take care of myself, huh? I'm afraid so. You've been given a fake death pill for that purpose. SIS guidelines stipulate that soldiers on covert ops like this one be issued a potassium cyanide capsule. Tape it to your body so you can take it when you need to. How generous of you. Use it if you're taken prisoner by the enemy. It'll send you into a state of false death for a short time. Fooling them into thinking that I'm really dead. So, how do I come back to life? Just take the revival pill. You mean that thing they put in my tooth before the mission? That's the one. But be careful. If you remain in a state of false death for too long, nothing will be able to bring you back. Remember that. I'll keep it in mind. You said this was a solo mission, right? Right. I guess that means I can't count on any reinforcements. Correct. The mission rests entirely in your hands. 
A real one-man army. Relax. There's a support team ready to back you up over the radio. Who? I'll introduce them to you. This time, survival is of utmost importance. The first member of the support team will be in charge of monitoring your physical condition, acting as a medic, so to speak, as well as recording your mission data. She's a member of Fox as well, and she's here on the gunship with me. She? Hello, Snake. I'm Paramedic. Nice to meet you. Paramedic? As in a medic who comes in by parachute. Aren't you going to tell me your real name? Are you going to tell me yours, Mr. Snake? My name, huh? It's John Doe. And they call you Jack for short. You're a regular Captain Nemo. A name means nothing on the battlefield. After a week, no one has a name. What's your name? Jane Doe. Very funny. I wasn't joking, but I'll tell you my name only if you manage to make it back alive. My frequency is 145.73. She's also in charge of recording your mission data. Whenever you want to save, send a message over the reserved save frequency, 140.96. So saving lets me record my mission data. That's right. It also records the state of your health. Good to know. There's one more person I want to introduce you to, Snake. Huh? Speaking of snakes, you remember the boss, don't you? A legendary soldier and your mentor. Actually, it was the boss that got the DCI's authorization in the first place. She's going to be serving as Fox's mission advisor. The boss is? She also helped me plan this mission. She and I were at SAS together. Jack, is that you? How many years has it been? Boss? That's right. It's me. Oh. Talk to me. Let me hear your voice. It's been five years, 72 days, and 18 hours. You've lost weight. You can tell just by the sound of my voice. Of course I can. I know all about you. Really? Well, I don't know anything about you. What's that supposed to mean? Why'd you disappear on me all of a sudden? I was on a top secret mission. Hmm. You didn't need me anymore. But there were still so many things I wanted you to teach me. No, I taught you everything you needed to know about fighting techniques. I taught you all I could. The rest you needed to learn on your own. Techniques, sure. But what about how to think like a soldier? How to think like a soldier? I can't teach you that. A soldier needs to be strong in spirit, body, and technique. And the only thing you can learn from someone else is technique. In fact, technique doesn't even matter. What's most important is spirit. Spirit and body are like two sides of a single coin. They're the same thing. I can't teach you how to think. You'll just have to figure it out for yourself. Listen to me, Jack. Just because soldiers are on the same side right now doesn't mean they always will be. Having personal feelings about your comrades is one of the worst sins you can commit. Politics determine who you face on the battlefield. And politics are a living thing. They change along with the times. Yesterday's good might be tomorrow's evil. Is that why you abandoned me? No, it had nothing to do with you. I already told you, Jack. I was on a top secret mission. A soldier has to follow whatever orders he's given. It's not his place to question why. But you're looking for a reason to fight. You're a natural born fighter, but you're not quite a soldier. A soldier is a political tool, nothing more. That's doubly true if he's a career soldier. Right and wrong have no place in his mission. He has no enemies and no friends. Only the mission. You follow the orders you're given. That's what being a soldier is. I do whatever I have to to get the job done. I don't think about politics. That's not the same thing. Sooner or later, your conscience is going to bother you. In the end, you have to choose whether you're going to live as a soldier or just another man with a gun. There's a saying in the Orient, loyalty to the end. Do you know what it means? Being patriotic. It means devoting yourself to your country. I follow the president and the top brass. I'm ready to die for them if necessary. The president and the top brass won't be 